I'm testing white jeans so you don't have to. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal through my channel is always to help save you time and money to help you look like the best version of yourself. Today's video is about saving you the time and the money. I am testing a dozen literally pairs of white jeans so that you don't have to. You don't have to go through the agony of doing all the online shopping and picking out the most popular ones and all the different brands and designers. I have done the legwork for you. I've selected 12 of the most popular pairs of jeans at a range of prices, something for every budget. And I've also chosen some different silhouettes, some different thicknesses, different types of denim, different rises, different inseam lengths. I'll go through each and every pair for you. And hopefully my goal is for you to take away one pair that is an absolute must have for you that you think will fit and flatter your body that also works for your budget. And be sure to watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna share the ones that I'm going to keep at the very end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. But right now, let's get started. The first pair of jeans I wanted to start with is a pair that is definitely affordable, that is in a reasonable price range, and that's this pair of super high-rise mom jeans by Express. They are cropped, which means if you are petite like me, I'm five feet, four inches tall, it really is a terrific length. You don't have to worry about hemming them or cutting them or tailoring them. These are also super high rise. That means above the belly button for me. Where it falls on you will depend on the length of your torso. One of the things when you're finding and looking for pairs of jeans, always look at the fine print. Always look at the details of the size and fit. You can always pretty much find the rise, which is a key piece of information for me. I don't buy anything that's not at least mid-rise, being eight inches or higher with the rise. And then the inseam length is also really important, especially if you're petite or tall, because you need to know if it's going to be long enough or if it's going to be short enough in my case. I'm wearing a size two in these jeans, so I would say they run pretty true to size. So a two is like a 26. These are $79.90, but Express is having a sale every other day. So you could probably get them for another 40% off pretty easily if you just wait a day. These are a really great pair of jeans. And again, just really affordable, comfortable, super high rise. In terms of being see-through, I just wanted to mention that pretty much every pair of white jeans is see-through. You have to be aware of the undergarments that you wear with your white jeans. That's going to be key so that you don't see that through the jeans. You don't wanna wear like your red hipster underwear underneath your white jeans. Just be really careful about the undergarments that you wear. The second pair is by AG. These are called the Farrah Skinny Ankle. And so whenever I see ankle or cropped, I'm like, yes, it's for me, it's for petites. But if you're tall, that's when you're like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Because the ankle length probably is going to be too short on you. So that's something to consider. In the AGs, I sized up. I got a size 27, which was definitely the right move. I would say these run small. These are very comfortable. The denim is super stretchy and lightweight. It's almost like paper thin which sometimes is scary because you're like, oh, is it so see-through if it's that paper thin? But I think because these jeans have a sewn front pocket and actually no pocket underneath, there is that nice sleek smooth look in the front. And then again, if you're careful with your underwear, I think you're going to be fine. The other thing I tend to look for with white jeans is how does it fit around the knee? If it's really tight around the knees and you can see every like lump and bump on the knee, I won't buy them, I don't like them. This pair, I wanted to highlight that it does, even though it's fitted and it's skinny, it does fit really nicely over the knee, it skims it. So this is a great pair of jeans. I really, really love this pair. I think cutting out that front pocket, sewing it shut is a great touch. I like how light it is. I like how comfy they are. I like that they're stretchy. They're also high rise, not as high as the Express pair, but still high. Just a great overall pair of white jeans. The next pair of jeans I wanted to show you guys is 
Citizens of Humanity Chrissy Uber High Rise Skinny White Sculpt Jeans. That is a mouthful. I had these jeans in blue. And so sometimes, I mean, why reinvent the wheel, right? Like if you have the pair in another color, try it again in another color that you need. So I decided to try the Chrissy in the white. I'm not in love with the Chrissy in the white. I, first of all, when it says super high rise or uber high rise, it's actually not compared to all the other jeans. Like. They're just on par with the AG in terms of height with the rise. In my book, not uber high rise. Also the price, they're $198 versus the AG jeans that I just showed you, which are $141. They're on the pricier side. Also, these are a bit too long for me and they bunch at the ankle. So I would have to get these tailored or hemmed and that's annoying. And I have all of these other fantastic options that I can just keep and not have to do anything with. So if I have to go to that extra effort or that extra mile to make them work, I'm just not into it right now. I wanna keep things simple, wanna keep things quick and easy. And so the Chrissy is definitely going back to the store. Another pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans I wanted to show you is this pair called the Rocket Crop. And here again, I have the Rocket Crop in the vintage blue. And I thought, I love them in the vintage blue. Let me try them in the white. I think what makes them so cool in the vintage blue is that the wash is really cool. With the Rocket Crop in the white, it's just not quite as, interesting and while the fit is terrific that's a nice high rise they're not too tight they're not see-through they still are $188 so when I'm comparing these to like the AGs again back to 141 I'm thinking yeah I'm probably gonna go with the AGs but these are a solid pair of jeans I would definitely size up on these because they run small it's a good one to consider and look at the length the length on these is nice for petites it is a definitely more of an ankle length cropped skinny jean. The next pair of jeans is a bestseller on Nordstrom.com by Wit & Wisdom. They're called Ab Solution, A-B for ab, Solution, so cute. The jeans have these stretchy slimming panels on the inside of the waistband. I ordered a two petite. I am swimming in the two petite. So these jeans are just not going to work for me in the way that they're supposed to be working, which is to slim the tummy in the back area. For me, I just don't need it, I guess, and it, the fit isn't right for me. So it's just not a pair that I'm gonna keep. But I wanted to mention and highlight these, so if you do have a little tummy going on, you need that slimming panel and those slimming panels in the tummy area, this could be a really great option. They do come in petite, they do come in plus, and they're affordable, they're $88. I had really high hopes for this next pair by frame because I'm a huge frame fan you guys know I talk about frame all the time I love the frame tops I have frame jackets I have frame jeans I love 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 frame right but I don't love these skinny jeans it's called Le Skinny Dijon and these are mid-rise so mid-rise we're talking about between eight to nine inches in terms of the rise and so for me that's below the belly button i feel like with white jeans i want to make my legs look longer because white jeans are less forgiving than regular jeans and so you almost need that rise to be higher to lengthen the legs and to create more leg real estate i don't really like a mid-rise white jean the frame jeans are true to size i have on a 26 Six, and these are $153.75. Kind of a random price, but there it is. The next pair of jeans I wanted to show you is kind of the wild card of the bunch. I wanted to show you something a bit more unique and modern and kind of where we're headed with denim, which is more of a baggy, oversized, slouchy fit. So these are the A. Goldie Nico slim fit jeans, which is ironic because they're not slim fitting at all. I bought a size 26 and the size 26 is just way too big on me. So I would need to return these and try a 25, maybe even a 24, which is obscene that I would be trying a 24 in anything. And they're $148, the price is not egregious. These were definitely super highly reviewed on Revolve. I think again, because they're modern, they're different, they're unique, they're a little baggier, slouchier, that new silhouette of jeans. I'm going to send these back and I'm gonna try a smaller size and see if I feel differently about them. But in this size, it's a no-brainer. I'm not 
remotely interested in them. I look like I'm swimming in them. It looks ridiculous. They're not flattering, but I think in a smaller size they could be. So I will try those in a smaller size and let you guys know. But if you do want a looser fit in your white jeans, this is a really highly rated and popular seller on Revolve that you may want to take a look at. This next pair is super exciting. If you are a regular viewer or a regular reader of my blog, busbystyle.com, then you know I am a big, 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 big fan of Scoop. Scoop is a line that's exclusively available at Walmart. It used to be a small boutique chain. It was one of my favorite stores when I lived in New York City. I loved going to Scoop in the meatpacking district. They then opened a few more and then they ended up closing down all their stores. When Scoop came up again suddenly on Walmart, I was like, yes! And I gotta tell you, it doesn't disappoint. Like everything I've ordered for this line has been terrific. These are Scoop Raw Hem Kick Crop Flare Jeans. The price, obscene, $26. I love these jeans. I think they're terrific. I think you can't go wrong, I mean, with that price tag. They are comfortable, they're lightweight. The pockets in the front are small, so they're not that see-through. It looks very neat across the top. They have a cropped length, a little kick crop, a little kick flare, which is a great leg silhouette. Again, keeping things a little bit more modern and fresh. It'll frame your beautiful sandals or shoes like the ones I'm wearing right now. These are definitely a no-brainer. I say go for it. The only thing I wanna tell you about these jeans is they run small. So I'm wearing a size four and they're pretty fitted. So trust me on this one, size up at least one full size. Our ninth pair is by Mousy Vintage. Mousy is a Japanese denim line. I am a huge fan. Mostly what I figured out is I'm such a fan of their jeans because of the washes. The washes are very cool. They're vintagey. They have like mild distressing, but it's all very effortless and cool. In the white though, I'm like, yeah, it's just missing the mark for me because I'm missing that really amazing vintage wash. So I don't think I'm gonna keep them in the white. They're mid-rise. They are also cropped. So it does really make my legs look stumpier and you can see if you compare it to another pair that's a higher rise with a longer inseam length, how much shorter my legs look in the mousy versus a higher rise pair of white jeans. You know, you've got the price tag to consider. These are $225, which is the most expensive pair so far. There's no stretch in the mousy, which I know from their regular blue jeans, but I feel like in the white, it's just not doing it for me. You know what I mean? The next pair is by Mother called the Hustler High Waist Freyham Ankle Bootcut Jeans. <laughs> How many like descriptors can they throw in there? These are $148. I'm a huge fan of Mother jeans. I just feel like their jeans are so comfortable. There's always a great amount of stretch. They always really just hug the body in all the right ways and the fabric is soft. It's just always like that pair of jeans you throw on and you're like, ah, it's like, feels like home, right? <laughs> and this is no exception. I really like these jeans. They are very high rise up to the belly button, very stretchy. They've got small, very streamlined pockets in the front. These also run small. I would size up on these. So I'm wearing a size 27. In general with white jeans, I would size up because you want them to be slightly looser. If they're too tight and they're showing every lump and bump, it's just not a very elegant, classy, flattering look. It's much better when the jean fits a bit looser. Before I move on to the next pair, I just wanted to show you another pair that I've had for a couple of years by Mother. These are a different, totally different silhouette. It is still a cropped pair of jeans. So if you're tall, these would actually be like ankle length on you. On me, they're actually to the floor cropped. But if I throw on a really low heel, like this pair of sandals, that's about two inches, then they really fit lengthwise perfectly. So if you want a different type of silhouette of white jean, this is a really lovely, elegant option. With white jeans especially, it's just a very sophisticated look. The next pair is by Rag and & Bone, and Rag and & Bone, again, is like one of my all-time favorite denim lines. This pair is called the Nina High Waist Ankle Skinny Jeans. Again, I sized up, these are 27, these are $146. These, much like the AGs, are a very thin, 
lightweight, comfortable fabric, you know, would be really breathable for summer when it's very hot. I was not planning to keep these jeans because I actually prefer the AGs, but then I spilled avocado on the jean, um, just under the pocket in the front. I was wearing them all day to test them out for you guys. And then I spilled avocado on them and I'm like, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So if you know how to get avocado out of a jean without washing it, please let me know. But yeah, I feel like if I'm choosing between these and the AG jeans and they're very similar in terms of the stretch and the fabric and how lightweight they are and the comfort and the rise and the length, I would go with the AG. The last pair I wanted to show you guys is by Good American. It's called the Good American High Rise Cropped Skinny Jeans. Again, a cropped jean, so the length on me is terrific. These do come in plus sizes as well. I think Good American is terrific for plus size. I also love NYDJ, by the way, for plus size. So if you're looking for a pair of jeans plus size that will really fit and flatter your body in white, look at NYDJ and Good American. These are on sale for $101. I am wearing a size two. I think these jeans are great. They have nice, small, streamlined pockets in the front. It's a great length for me. It's a nice rise, nice heft to the denim. They are a little bit tight around the knees. And again, I get a little bit weirded out about that with white jeans because I feel like it does show every lump and bump. I'm on the fence about these. I probably will send them back. So which ones am I gonna keep, right? You stuck around for that, yes. I'm definitely keeping the Express Mom jeans. I love how high they are. I love the fit and I think the price is terrific. It's a no brainer. I am also keeping the Scoop jeans because again, price is amazing, fit is incredible. Total no-brainer. The third pair I'm definitely gonna keep is the AG skinny jeans. I know you guys figured that out because I was really raving about them, but I think the combination of that lightweight, stretchy fabric that's so comfortable and soft against your skin with those sewn pockets, streamlined look in the front, really, just sealed it for me. Which pair was your favorite? Are you gonna try one of these? If you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, or if you found a holy grail pair of white jeans that I did not mention and I did not review, please let me know that too in the comments. That way when people scroll through the comments, they can read about your favorite. Is there another type of product that you'd like me to review? So we've done white jeans and we've also done white t-shirts. What would you like me to do next? Tell me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.